benevolent Pharaoh. You have brought peace and prosperity to our nation. Under your wise and capable rule, Egypt is a strong and glorious country once again. All nomarchs are loyal to you, and no threats to our great nation remain. Having accomplished all your family set out to do so many years ago, it is time to memorialize the achievements of your great dynasty. The only way to accomplish this is to build the grandest pyramid Egypt has ever known. A pyramid even larger than that of Khufu at Broscha. Others in your noble family have sacrificed much on the long road leading to your rule of Egypt. They too must be remembered and honored with a sandstone mausoleum to acknowledge their unwavering support. The ideal location for these monuments is Hetepsenusret in the rich Fayum region. From there, you can attend to all the affairs of state and respond to any requests for supplies that your cities may ask of you as you build your great pyramid. Hello and welcome back to Pharaoh and New Hero. We are here at the glory of Pharaoh Hetep Sinusirat. Let's take a look here. We need a population of 12,000, a culture rating of 80, monument rating of 68, prosperity rating of 80, and a kingdom rating of 75. We will need to build a large mud brick pyramid, a grand mud brick pyramid, and a mausoleum. Let's go ahead and pause that. Take a look over here. Let's take a look at our pyramids first. So the large one we're, we're familiar with. We built one of those before. Now the grand is quite grand, as it says in the name. And it has to have connection to water. You can rotate it with R. And then the mausoleum, which will take 240 sandstone. And I think an additional 100 and something to lay down. Let's take a look here. All right, services are all there. For food and farming, we have grain. And we also have fish and hunting. All right, for production, for raw materials, we have clay pit, wood, and reeds. And for materials, we have papyrus, pottery, brewery, rickworks, and jeweler. For gods, we have four, with Bass being our patron deity. So we have Bass, Osiris, Taff, and Ra. Kitty god is best god. Whoops, I unpaused there for a second. Military, we have the full-on military ensemble. We've already looked at pyramids. And for entertainment, we have access to both the Senate House and the zoo. Now, starting off with trading here on the world map, uh, it's very slim. We have basically Doclo Oasis, which will buy Papyrus from us. And we're going to go ahead and open that trade route right now. And Baki, which will basically do nothing for us at the moment. We can start importing Sandstone, but as you can see, we only started with 2,000 Devon. I do want to say that I am playing on hard mode, and I have Global Labor Pool enabled. Okay, so our first order of business is we want to make some money. It's going to take us a couple years to get our feet off the ground. Um, but once we get things rolling, we start unlocking some more cities. We're going to start rolling in the dough. You can see up here we have tons of reeds, quite a bit of thin uh, Nile land. Over here in the southeast, uh, we have a bunch of woodland. We have a little bit more reeds down here in the bottom. Some more flat land down here in the southwest with a little bit of trees. We have some birds right here, these ducks. And these are what you hunt for food. It's not like antelope or anything or deer or whatever it would be. And there's some more up here along with some reeds. So what I'm going to do is first off, I'm going to use what available resources we have up here. And I'm just going to build. Um, and we, I should say we do also have some metal land up here, which I will be using that over the Nile for grain farming because there still is the workers bug to where your workers just randomly decide they're not going to go to the Nile and farm. I have notified the devs about it, but we'll see if they actually do anything about it. So we're going to just do a little bitty loop right here with just some bare materials, and we're going to start cranking out papyrus. So we have one right here, so that's going to be seven. Then we're just going to loop that up. It's not going to be a full loop, and we will delete this later. doesn't even actually have to be this big. Let's just roadblock that off. We'll do our apothecary, our firehouse. Our police. I'm sorry, architect station that and police. Um, let's go to our overseers and we will tell them to automatically start exporting papyrus, please. Export one over zero. We need a storage yard, which we will put right there. We will start with one reed gatherer because these reed gatherers, they do gather a lot. And. Uh, Okay, we'll tell this to accept papyrus. Don't want to forget that. All right, 
Let's put some houses in. We'll do one, two, three. It's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And I will do some water. This loop's gonna disappear once we get uh, money flowing in and people and all that other jazz. You know, I do need some other services, but we're gonna hold off there for a second just so we can get things going. We'll also have to worry about the gods. We have four gods to take care of. But I don't want our city to burn down. At least not yet. Oh. It would help if I put some papyrus makers down. One, two. All right. So we'll jam out some papyrus. And... The reason I don't build a ton of houses, too, is I want to stay right at that kind of unemployment line um, where I have just enough people because the more people you have, the more wages you have to pay as well. So if you build a ton, not only will I go into debt, but I'll also have to pay their wages every month. Um, so whenever they the uh, traders spawn, they will only buy what was in your storage house when they spawn. So even if they spawn and they walk all the way across the map and you fill up a storage house, storage yard, they will only buy whatever it is that they set to. Okay, so he bought a tiny bit. So we'll put down another two and another set of housing. Plague could strike. Okay, so we're going to put down a physician. We're going to put down an apothecary. I don't want to add any more until we make a little more money. We're at 82. There we go. That was our... Oh, it's okay. We got 12 months to do 800 wood. So we got a little bit more money out of that. We're going to do one of you. So, and then one more reed gatherer. Yeah, we do need people. I do have to worry about the gods here soon. That was our first year. Okay, we need more people. Let's see. So, there we go. Excellent health. And that should be enough once they move in. We can check here. 100, 200. Okay, let's go take a look at wood. So, um, I do have global labor pull on, which means I can just slap down some buildings over here and they will work, okay? So, in the sake of coolness, I'm going to go ahead and put down a ferry over here. So immigrants can cross a ferry even if they don't have employment or if they don't have a road connected to them, okay? So I'm going to do that to just simulating place, placing houses over here for you guys. Um, and they just make it a little more difficult, I guess. So we have a bit more money. We'll add that. I'm just going to do a little line. No, we'll do it closer to the wood. No, actually, you know what? I'm going to do it up here. Go ahead and put it right there. We will do our storage yard here. Yep, storage yard right there. We will do our architect's post, our firehouse, because we don't want that to burn down, and two woodcutters for now. And that should get us plenty. Let's go ahead and make sure you accept wood. We do need quite a bit more people they're moving in all right looks like the gods are giving us a little bit of a break so we have six months to get 800 wood should be fine though let's take a look we're only at minus four one more house should probably do it Now, you can always check to see if you have enough reed gatherers, if they are staying fully stocked, or if your reed gatherers are as well. So we could throw one more down there. Because they were staying pretty much fully stocked. Reed gatherers go a long way. Don't throw a bunch of them down. Okay, let's see how much... Oh, see how much wood we have. Almost 400. Getting there. And now they want 500 Debbins. Um, we have it, so we'll go ahead and deliver. We see we're already starting to make money. We're up to 1,007. 
And this is how you have to handle the beginning of this, basically. So let's do... Not a temple, because I don't have the people. We're going to do shrines. So we'll do a shrine to Osiris. A shrine to Taff. A shrine to Ra. You know what? We'll do a shrine to... Um, Bast as well. Actually, you know what? We'll do it down here. That'll work since it's within tiles, so at least they have something. Okay, now let's look here. Almost, uh, almost there. Can we get it before? Nope. Well, you get your wood a little late then. Okay, Minat Khufu can now be open, so let's send that wood. And then let's take a look at the world map and look at Minat Khufu. We're going to be here a while, so we'll get a chance for our kingdom ready to go back up. Um, okay, they will buy bricks, which is something we can start making. And they will sell us barley, which is good, and sandstone. Basically, everybody wants to sell us sandstone here. But we'll be able to import barley soon. Probably be able to sell beer. But we can start selling bricks. And those are land trade routes. Let's look. We have a little bit of overpopulation. Just, not overpopulation, but unemployment. Which is good. I would like to make just a little bit more money. Okay. Yes, my kingdom rating has fallen. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to span my whole cities all the way across. If you look in the bottom. Uh-oh. Now, well, my mouse died. Sorry about that. Okay. Um, if we start over here, I'm thinking I'm going to just do all my cities all the way across here. And I'm going to do one pyramid over here and then one pyramid in the southwest island. So, I think I'm going to start right here. One, two, three, four. Okay, we're going to go right here. Eight. Seventeen. Eight. 17 we're gonna go across so if we do nine so the way i do it is if i do nine on the inside that means those go to three by threes and i can do four by fours on the outside the thing is is i'm gonna need so much workers twelve thousand people and how long this mission goes on i'm either gonna have to keep building housing devolve housing or see what we can do so you know i'm just gonna do nine i'm gonna stick to my normal so that goes for three by threes in the middle we're going to go down um, all the way to eight right there. And then I'm going to bring that across like I normally do. So that will be where I put all of my stuff. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this long road going along here. And it's just going to be housing loop after housing loop after housing loop. Let's go ahead and do this one here. Eight. Seventeen. Eight. And roadblock, roadblock. One right there. And this one I'm going to go ahead and build out because it goes all the way to that road. So that's one, two, three, four. And then five. So that's going to go right there like that. Did I do that wrong? Let's double check. One, two, three, four, five. I did do that wrong. Yes, I did, because I can't count. Okay. There we go. And I want to connect that like that. And we'll just connect that right there for now. We'll fix that later. This one will stay like it is. Let's put that right there. And we can start actually building our normal housing loop over here. So we're going to go architect's post, fire station, police, and apothecary. And we'll do water. So the way I'm going to do my water is I'm going to do it. So I'm going to put the mortuary right here. Go over two. So I'm going to do the water right there. Then it's going to be a senate house and then library. So let's see here. So we have that in. Let's add some housing. One, two. One, two, three, four. If you've been a, a long watching member of my channel, I wonder how many times you've heard me count this out. I do apologize. It is a habit of mine that I've been doing for 20-something years playing this game. 
Um, you know what? I think up here... Hmm, I might just do two temples for now. So actually, we'll do one here, and then one right there. We'll put the temple here on the edge. Okay, one, two, three, four. Yep, five, and we'll put the another temple right here. So for our... Let's see here. Actually, let's do our... I want to get ahead of myself because that's how I burn my city down or cause I have a plague. Physician and then Bass is our patron deity. He's going to go right there. Rotate it a little bit. All right, that housing loop. And we still have a thousand, so that's good. All right, they're cracking out. Here comes all those people. And feeding our people in the beginning is going to be pretty easy because we're going to have plenty of... Um, food to get. So let's take a look here. Dakla has currently bought 700 out of 2,500. So that means we can definitely produce more. You're at 200 or 300. So let's put um, those houses up there. Don't matter. I don't even know why I'm thinking about this. These are going to get destroyed. We'll put two more in for now. Because I need to hopefully sell out um, all of my papyrus. I have to check again in December. I got to remember to. All right, there's that. Our wood over here should be... These guys can just keep on keeping on. We're not too worried about them for now. Okay, July. So if you're having trouble with this mission, it's probably because you tried to... You took off too early. You really got to slow down in the beginning. Um, okay, so they want 900 game meat. I acknowledge that. Let's undo that because I was in the middle of building a road. Thanks, guys. So here's kind of, I should have talked about this in the beginning, but you can put a road right there, or a bridge, I'm sorry, right there. You can also put a bridge right here. You don't need a ferry. You do need a ferry across this. So what you can do is, once again, we will do a, hmm, where do I want to do this? So I'm going to build my production yards over here. We can't do it over here. I guess the closest we could do it would be right there. No, that should be fine. We'll do that. So we build that road out right there. Like so. Now let's see here. If I want to come over here, because I think I want to start my production way over here. If I go up three. Let's go across. No, we'll just do our normal our normal uh five to start with so we are counting correctly nine five that's one two three four yep nine all right so if we do it right there that should work because you gotta remember everybody's a land trader on this for the most part right now so if we have enough right here so we go up another five. Let's put that there. Five. Put that right there. That should work. We do have that right here, which works out nicely. There's this little bitty, uh, like, pond right there, which is in the way. Okay, let's put our roadblocks in. Once again, I do have Global Labor Pull on, but if you want to see this without Global Labor Pull, you can check out my housing tutorial version 2, and it will show you how I do all that. So put the architects and the firehouse because I'm going to be good and not burn my stuff down this game. Hunting. One, two, three, uh, four. Yeah, we're going to put eight. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Because after that comes food. Okay, they should have plenty over there. Plenty over there. And... Uh, We're going to bring that all the way like that. And for now, I'm just going to buffer and do that, actually. For now, I'm just going to buffer game meat over here. So I want you to accept all. Not get all. Accept all. And buffering means that it's going to go to here and then it's going to get transferred to my storage yards that are going to be up here. All right. So they're going to go that way start cooking 
some duck. So we have plenty over there. Okay, they're going across over here. You can see they will go over there and do it as well. Fantastic. Okay. Um, we already have the food. It's gone. So what I want to do is up here, right here, I'm going to tell this. I'm going to tell it to get all game meat. And I'm going to go Architect's Post and Firehouse. I'm going to go ahead and block that off right there. So they will just walk this way. And I'll layer this with um, storage yards of all the necessary goods. And we'll be good to go. Okay. Ah, I forgot to check. All right, so we could open... How much money do I have? Not very much. Maybe I should... After um, we get some more workers, we'll start grain production. We'll start right here and just build out this way. It will be plenty. Plenty, plenty, plenty of grain. And then once this fills up as well, they'll just start bringing it over. So this cart pusher will send out to get stuff over here, and then they'll just start bringing it over too when it gets full. Just fine. Before I like to feed my people, I like to have uh, a decent buffer. Okay, let's put in some grain. And the, like I said, the reason I'm not doing Nile farming is because right now Nile farming is um, very buggy with the the farm hands not wanting to work. So yeah, we're going to not do that for now and just work on having this. So grain um, can go another one, I believe. I'll just we'll just put it in for now. We'll put it right there. And I'm just gonna bring this down. This road will get destroyed later. That's fine. Um, as the city gets built up. So let me undo that so y'all can see. Sorry, it's flat mode is a habit of mine. All right, let's do farming. We'll do irrigation ditch. So a cool thing about irrigation ditches, if you didn't know, is that they will work in a two tile distance, okay? So if you put an irrigation ditch over here, it'll also irrigate these. So if I put one like over here, say, let's do one, two, three, four. That's in for preparation for later. I don't have to just destroy and rebuild them. And we go this way. These will get irrigated. Which works out quite nicely. Water lift. Just throw it over here. The most direct path. That is very expensive, but we'll survive. Okay. So now we're going to start getting grain and... Uh, um, straw. Brain fart there for a second. All right, so I want you to accept all grain. Oh, actually, you're going to get all grain. We already have our first harvest because these are not dependent on the Nile. They just do it on the certain months. Straw. At the moment, can go right here. So I want that to accept all straw. And I want you to accept all clay. Which means I need to do that. And that, that way this loop doesn't burn down the top part. And yes, we don't have any clay, but we're going to work on that. So, how's my, oop, I was like, how's my employment? Not good. Okay, how's my god? It's probably not good either. Okay, so Bast is 450 basically, and we have Osiris. And, okay, yeah, we need to work on our deities a bit. So, yeah, we're pretty much under on everything. I will do my normal, um, my deities out here. So we'll do one to Bast. One to Osiris. Taff. And Raw. I don't want to be smitten. Alright, nailed it. 
Okay, let's put our architect's post down right there. Remember, these just collapse. They will not burn. So, no worries about that. Um, this needs to be moved. Because I don't want it right here in the middle of my temples. That will work. We're going to need more people. That's our money. Doing okay. And we will start feeding people as well, because we are capping out. Um, yep. So. Let's do Bazaar. And we're going to tell this one just to accept game meat for now. Game meat for now. And then they will evolve up. Excellent. So let's throw down our... Two, three, four. We're going to go four, three. Now we're going to connect these. Uh, one, two. And then... Get rid of you. Keep that. Okay. Like so. And then... Right there. That should work still. Nope, that's in the way. Oh, jeez. Oh, I remember now. I'm supposed to just go out that way. Uh, nothing like wasting money when you don't have a lot of it, huh? Okay. So once we get a little bit more money, it is November, let's check. Dakla has capped out, good. Okay, so let's check how much we have. Oh yeah, we are way overproducing. That is fine, I guess for now. We'll be able to, we're gonna move this production down later. So you always gotta check if you're, suddenly you're not making money um, when you're trading a single resource like that to a single person, you need to know where it's gonna go. You see, we already pretty much emptied that storage yard. So they should be bringing that up there. Okay, so they bought their first purchase. Let's see. They bought... Ooh, they bought a thousand. Okay. All right. That's. I just got to remember that's all the money I really get to play with for a while, though. So, okay, let's see here. We have all of this. They are not happy. They need a bird statue. Right there. And right there. Maybe a little bit of gardens to to get him happy. Okay, that should add up. Yep, a whole bunch. Now let's look at some clay. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. We'll do four for now. I'm going to bring that over like so. Roadblock that. And then go over one. Architect's post here. So these will only collapse. So we have buffering for that. We have buffering for clay. Let's put one more down. We can just pop it right there for now. And we're going to say accept all bricks. And we're going to go over here. We're going to tell this to trade bricks. Did I look at that wrong? I didn't open the trade route. Okay. I was I was kind of scared for a second. I was like, did I do that wrong? Okay. We did not roadblock that, which we should. Okay. So let's, um, let's put down some brickworks. One, two, three, four. So we'll do four for now because we don't have much grain going. We can put down more grain. The one, two, three, and four. Look at that. Not, lines up nicely. Yeah, we are way overproducing papyrus. Okay, so that is going nicely. We have... 
Lots of food moving up. Everybody up here should have plenty of food, which they do. Let's take a look at our large statues like so. Well, you know, we could just do... Save a little bit of money and just do a layer of gardens. All right, now that we have more workers, I kind of want to start get rid of this, but it'll stay there for now because I don't really have tons of money. So we should. Did I not set it to export? I probably didn't. Yeah, I did not. Exporting went over zero. Let's get those bricks going. Okay. Lots of food moving. Still not getting much grain. Hopefully um, these will turn around. Oh, we're going to hold a festival. That's what we're going to do. It is December. So, did Dakla cap out? It did. Excellent. How much is this? 650? Alright, we're going to throw that down. And we're going to pray to... Oh, come on. We'll just do it that way. We're going to pray to Bast. 188. And we're just going to hope that we get the Bast throws a festival for all the other gods. Because that will count as a lav lavish, fest lavish festival for everybody because you can see they haven't had any festival yet okay so they want a thousand bricks and we have 12 months to comply i will acknowledge your bricks and i will stop trading wait did we already have that or did the the guy spawn to buy it he spawned to buy it okay we should have our first blessing from bast here in a second plenty of grain coming in we'll put um, we will just start buffering some of that over this way. We'll put that right there. We're going to tell that to accept all grain. We're going to bring that out by two. We're going to put our architect's post and our fire and our roadblock. So they're going to walk that way. Come on, Bast. I'm going to hold another festival to you. We have lots of unemployment. Put down a little more clay. Because we're going to need to do pottery as well. So it's okay to overproduce clay. We do need more straw. Alright, let's take a look at our political. We have the bricks. Fantastic. And let's start trading those again. We will need a ton of those for... Um, the pyramids but right now money is more important come on bast give us a blessing please oh probably because we're so far behind on temples we're not going to get a blessing okay let's take a look so bast right now has two temples which is 900 we're at 1800 yeah so i have an extra 213 workers so we're going to cut this back a little bit let's see here you can go. You can go. You can go. Okay. And you. Which means don't need police. We don't need that. We don't need that. The reason I'm doing that, I just want that loop going. And then it's, everybody's going to basically move down here. There we go. So now we're at 1,400. A little better. So we'll do um, same thing. We're going to go Ra, Osiris, Taff, and Bast. No, it's Ra. Okay, it's Bast is at three. So that's 1350. We need another one. And these guys are at 1800. So these guys are good. Hmm. So what we'll do, actually, is I need to expand out anyway. So we're going to expand over this way. So let's do one, two. With a position, followed by another temple to Bass. And the reason I always put my patron deity in the loop is because I'm going to build the temple complex, which gives their priest a special buff whenever they walk past. Some are better than others. Um, 
So we're going to go ahead and go with that. Five and three. And undo that because I did that wrong. Okay. There's five. And five. Okay. Roadblock, roadblock. That's all good already. That's good. Okay, let's build our services. Architects. Fire. Come on, police. And block theory. So that's everything here except for water. Which we're going to do the same over here. Which is going to be just like that. And we'll put down just one little bitty thing of housing. That's what we wanted. So Bass is pleased, and she has thrown a festival. So now, if we pause and look, we can see everybody counts as having a festival thrown to them. So now we're going to start getting just buff after buff after buff. Let's go ahead and do another one. We can do another house right there, just to finish that loop. And another one right here as well. And then everything else should be accounted for. Mortuary, scribal school, or library. Yep. Senate house, another temple. Thank you. Okay. We can put in bazaar and bazaar. So we'll tell this one to just buy game meat. Actually, on this one, we'll just do grain. So buy grain. Buy grain. So we need more people. Okay, it's November. Let's take a look how our trading is going. Minak Khufu has bought... They didn't buy out on bricks, so we need more bricks going. Is that... We have a little bit more straw. Yep, we're going to get employees in a second. One, two, three. I want to make sure that they're buying out completely, because that's how I know I'm making maximum profit. You notice I'm just not filling up these loops completely because that I don't need that many people. All farms. Excellent. They'll harvest double. We're not going to do any now farming, but that's fine. We have plenty of meat, plenty of grain, plenty of everything so far. We're doing good. City is holding up. So what else could we expand into? Beer is something, but I can only import it. I can't sell it. So I want to hold off on that. February. Excellent. Thanks, Bast. That means everybody who had food and stuff should evolve. More grains going. Okay. And it's... We should get a fat stack here in a second from Dakla. Oh, no, they already came in. Minat. Okay. 81. Hopefully we'll get some more trade routes open here soon. So, thank you, Ra. We'll just extend those out like so. All right, we're up to 100 on unemployment. So we have a couple options. We have a decent amount of bricks coming in. I want to maybe do one more. You know what? We could also do pottery. So let's put, let's put down the rest of our storage yards here. So... We'll put a storage right here. We're going to do get half of pottery. And I know I'm not going to have beer. But it's going to get half of beer. And then you will be get half of linen and get half of papyrus. Whoops. There we go. Like so. And now we have some clay. We could... Use a little more. Let's put one right there. Right there. And then we'll put down just a couple of potters. It's unpaused, actually. I don't know why I'm paused. We'll do one, two, three, four. We'll just do four potteries for now. Okay. Let's throw another festival to Bast. The money's starting to come in. We're up to 7,000 now. It is starting to multiply. 
There we go. So we're going to have a bunch of papyrus over here, even though we're not going to need it. Okay. So these right here will basically provide... Thank you, Vest. That's what we wanted. See, everybody got their things reset. Okay. So everybody's good up there. We're good over here. We're doing okay on clay. Pottery's coming in. They want entertainment first, though. All right. So let's see here. We have 2,000 people. We need more temples. So we'll do a... On this one, we'll do a temple to Osiris, and we're going to put it right there. Because that gives desirability, plus it'll add, give a second god for later on when those are evolving up into, like, fancy residences and stuff. We're going to do the same over here. So we'll do Taff on that one. And uh, let's see here. So I'm thinking we have some money. I'm thinking in the middle of this doing a doing this right, right here. You know what I mean? And just trying to make that look nice. And then instead of just sticking it off in the middle of nowhere. So if we put it right there, these houses will be evolve be able to evolve up into a 3x3. Three three. That's what these are set to do as well. The outside loops can do 4x4s. Four I think that'll work just fine. So right here. Go over one. Like so. Okay, so we have that one right there now. And then if I extend this out... And put... Like... Raw... And Taff... Let's see. One, two, three. One, two, three. That shall work. So I can add, like, an Architect's Post right there. A Roadblock and a statue and that should just basically keep these guys happy i can always fix that later if i need to so okay so now that we know that's there and that's also 50 so let's take a look bast um bast they just give automatic buffs but also the altar they will act as physicians and then the oracle they will um, make happiness. So we're going to hold off on that for a little bit. We'll build that here soon. There we go. And we're starting to see... We haven't thrown a, uh, any festivals to any of them yet, but we're getting bonuses. You know, we'll hold off on Bass for now. Let's take a look. So they're good to 1,800. Nope, it's more than that now. 2,700. Okay, and then they're all good. Well, actually, they're, they're up higher than that. So, well, I take that back. Yeah, 2,700 for Osiris and Taff is a little bit higher at 3,600. And Bast is pretty much good now because we have this. But we still want to build temples to Bast for culture rating. Well, they want Papyrus. There's your Papyrus. Thank you for coming. See you next time. Okay, so let's see. We have one, two, three. So if we have a three gap here, one, two, three, like so. We all know here it's going to go one, two, three. And then we can go eight. So that's seven. Okay, so that actually ends up right here. That that works out. Hey, I nailed that line, didn't I? Okay, so and then this will go up 17. Cross eight. One, two, three. There we go. Five and three. Five and three. All right. So we're getting tons of grain in. Tons of meat in. We'll just tell them to also buy grain. Yep. And then you as well. You can also buy game meat. And that's the kind of prep for later on. Now, I'm thinking 
I want to put my first pyramid, maybe do the mausoleum like over here. And well, I don't know. Let's do the large mud brick because that one's. Uh, they put that water there just to mess with me, I swear. Okay, so let's let's take a look here real quick. So if we go one, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And if I go the nine over like that. And then if we go up five. Yep, over nine, and then down. So it's we can just connect those. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Excellent. So we can put two storage yards in the middle. Let's zoom back in. Nine. Five. And nine. Okay. So now we have a double. So if I wanted to do a large pyramid, can I still put the mausoleum on here? Nope. I can't put it right there, though. Nice. Alright. I don't really like that water, but we'll put the water... Um, we'll put it right here. That should be good. So we'll connect that. And then I'm at 93. So I'm going to go ahead and throw in... Let's see here. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we're good over this way. So as long as I don't hit that water. Nine. We'll do 11. That way it's even. Down five. Back up. Which means I can put that right there. We'll put that right there. That. There we go. And at least they can get started on that. There we go. Since we sent a thousand torch papyrus to Itawe, a new, new trade route. So let's take a look. Things are starting to get interesting. Itawe right over here. Come on. Can't click the darn thing. So they will buy beer. And they sell nothing we want. Well, we want limestone, but can't really do much. How much money do I have? Okay, we have plenty of money. So, we'll open Itawe, and now we can set up our beer industry. And that is another land trade route. I do want, I don't have enough money still to move that down, but we are producing more than enough bricks. So, we'll just, thank you, Bast. We'll just let our... Yeah, we'll probably need more temples. We'll just let our uh, our money kind of go up and let them just work on this slowly. You know what? We can do that. And then... I know it's cost employees. We'll do that. Juggler school. And conservatory. Just those two for now. And that'll be enough. We'll get the dancers in later. And then we'll also build those up and that. Like so. We'll tell this to start buying pottery since they're going to evolve up. And they're going to want pottery. Okay. Let's see here. So I hope y'all like that. Oh, let's pause. We're at December. Dakla is capped out. Minat Khufu is capped out. Okay, so we're making basically the max amount of money we can with that. I do want to go ahead and put this here. And we're going to say accept all barley. And let's start trading barley. Because it's a new year. Import. We're going to import to maintain. 
Um, just, just give me everything you got. You can't import that much anyway, but it's fine. Okay. So we'll do our nine. Just trying to see where everything's going to go. 17, 8, 17, 8. There we go. 3, 1 there, 1 there. Okay, so that's four loops right there. We could add another fifth one. Maybe that would make that one a four by four or something. We could use some more people. They're coming in. We're going to need more gods. Okay, we need more grain. That's what we need. Beer and grain. You know what? We don't have fish, and I know they're going to ask for it. I bet your bottom dollar they're going to ask for fish. So we need a ship right first. Let's see here. We'll just put you right there. That's fine. Just go ahead and bring that over. And you know, I'm probably going to start making bricks down here too and just transport them up. Um, and build the large, I think I'm going to build the large pyramid right here. Ish. Yeah. You know what? We'll just put it down for now. Because they're not going to cross anyway to come over here. So let's put our architect's post and our fire. And let's add some fishing. Because even if I don't need it, they're going to start asking for it. One, two... I don't want any on that bank. Three, four, five. Cause uh yeah, like I said, even if I don't if I don't want to build it, they're gonna they're gonna ask for it, you know. Yeah, that lined up nicely. We can also add more um, clay down here as well. So we'll go like that. And then like that. Which means we can do... I think these will do both. Yes, they will. Architect's post. Firehouse. Let's unpause. And then over here, we'll do the same. Architect... Oops. Just kidding. Architect's post and... Firehouse. Can I get a road down there? Probably not. I can get some over here. You know, we're gonna, we're gonna actually move that one down a little bit. A little roadblock right here, just so we know for all these sure for sure all of these will get covered. And then let's put in. No, we'll just do right here. Go ahead and accept all fish. Excellent. We have barley that just came in. Let's start doing one, two, three, four. We'll do six for now. One, two, three, one, two. So that's where that's going to go. Just like that. So we can put beer right here. So go ahead and accept all beer. And then I want to export beer right here. Export one over zero. Just another thing we can make money with. I don't need it. I don't need to give it to my people. It's easier to just build more small housing. Speaking of that, I do want to go ahead and throw this down. We'll put it right here. So I can start taxing people. 
Give me some money back, please. Okay. We'll put our one right there, and one right there, just to keep them happy. Put one right there, one right there. Okay. The shipwrights have stuff as well. Does that mean they got wood down here? They did. Okay. Don't need it, but we did. All right, we're starting to get fish in. We don't need the fish. We do need more bricks. So I'm actually going to come over here and say bricks, bricks, and bricks. So accept all, accept all, and accept all. There we go. Ooh. We're going to go into debt. Yep. Nope, we bought it. Yay! Woo! <laughs> Save. Save by that last minute purchase. Awesome. I was not paying attention. Got too much on a building spree. Okay, usually by February they come in and buy half their papyrus for the year. Probably right there. Yep. Alright, we are overproducing that. But that's okay. So we're going to still fill this in. Do one, two. How are we doing on green? Okay, need a little more green. Doing okay on straw. We'll put one more right here. And we will just continue that. This is actually inundated because it, it does go catty corner. Even more. Put some more bricks in. Okay, we need more people. Do one right there. So these guys are good. Now they want beer. Oh, look at that. They want 2,100 fish. Okay, well, I'm glad we already have it. There you go. We already had a full storage yard. I'll do one more. Just in case. I don't really even really plan on using the fish. I just know we're going to get asked for it, you know? So we can do more houses over here. One, two, three, four. And the reason I do that when I pause is in case I mess up, I can hit undo. Because once the, the walkers to go, get to here spawn, you can't undo it. Excellent. Okay, we need more green. We put one down. But we can definitely do some more up here. Let's see here. So, one, two, and then we'll go three, four, five, and I'm going to have to do a little work up here. We're going to get rid of this, get rid of that. I know the Kingdom Road. We'll get it. Um, you're going to move. I do want to actually just move the entire thing down, but I can't do that right now. So we will connect that like so. We will bring that road back like that for now. And let's see here. We do the road. Like that. And then the same up here. I know I just destroyed that for no reason, but... Derp is as derp does. Alright, go this way with that. And over. So everybody's irrigated now. You don't have a road. Which is no bueno. Which means... Undo that. Put this up here, like that. And... Uh, 
if I do that, you should now, if you connect this right here, that one to here, this one will be irrigated. Yep. Okay. So like that, because it'll go catty corner. And everybody's irrigated. Everybody's happy. That's irrigated. Excellent. Okay. Because of uh, reputation, now we can open to Abu. So let's see here. That's Baki. Yep. Here's Abu. They will buy clay, pottery, excellent, reeds, and papyrus. So, first of all, that's a water trade route. But they will buy... Whoops, hit my microphone. They will buy pottery from us. What's our money like? Okay. So, that means that we need to probably move our papyrus down here. Get rid of this. Which, by which means that route as well put our dock right here extend that over we can put storage yards right here now because of this cool because so i don't want them to have to go all the way up there to get all of that actually Two, three, one, two, three. Oh, we'll just leave that right there. That's fine. So I'm going to tell this to get all papyrus. Same over here. We're going to get all. And the reason I'm doing that is I want to empty this guy up here. And I want you to empty. And they're going to start carrying that all down there. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and two reed gatherers, which means I can just put, I think, let's see here. Okay, so we could do one right there. Anything else? So I think they can gather a little bit more reeds there so I don't have to walk as far. Maybe one right there. I'm not sure if that'll work or not, but whatever. I don't want to put one there because I want these ships to be able to get in and out. Okay, so we're going to put... Let's see here. We'll put one, two, and three. One, two, three, five. I don't need more than that. Undo that because that's not the right spot. Let's go ahead and actually fix this up like we should. That way things don't burn down on me. Because that's what's going to happen. Um, yep, right there, right there, and right there. Oops, same up here. One, two. Okay, so that should be good. I'll extend that down. Like that. Which means... Architects and fire go like that We'll actually just do the other side as well fire architects That okay And then all of you can go you can go That can go that can go With these collapse they will There we go Sorry gods I promise I will uh add more for you so we need more people so let's wrong thing let's evolve this up right there and right there there we go awesome okay Two, three. There we go. Even it adds up nicely, doesn't it? Okay. More food, more that. Good on population. Again, they are not happy. Sorry, I forgot about you, kitty god. Bast. And then we're going to go... Who's this? Bast? We will go fast. 
and Osiris. Yep. Oof. And then Ra. Okay, 444, which is going to be 3,600, so they're just on the marker for that. And Bass is good because we have that, but we do need more. Okay, so we move Papyrus down here. Those are getting filled up. How's this going up here? It is empty now. Go ahead and get rid of that. Let's go back down south. Did we open that trade route? We did not, so we'll open it to... There we go. So now we are trading to... Even more limestone. So now we are trading to a couple people. So we'll let's extend that out more and we'll add another reed gatherer. So we have four reed gatherers. And we will... Go ahead and buffer some reeds, just in case. Hopefully we'll get more. Okay, so we need bricklayers. I wonder how long it's been there. Let's see. One, two, three, four, and five. And maybe we can just bring that down. And you. We'll put one right here. Let's tell them to go ahead and get wood. Okay, we're still not producing enough reeds yet. So... Can add... Oh, jeez. First fire, huh? Oh, jeez. <laughs> ah, of all the things to catch fire. Of course. Well, let's put it here and see if that burns down too. Yeah. Go get them, boys. That hurts. Hey, there goes a whole storage yard full of food as well. Fantastic. Okay, let's, uh... You know, I'm gonna have to do a playthrough to where, um... Whenever I... <laughs> whenever my things burn down, I have to leave it. I'm gonna change these back to accept all just to just to remind myself of uh this burnt down and maybe i'd stop having things burn down on me because that hurts there we go what was that blessing for bass thank you best let's throw another blessing so they are pottery okay let's go ahead and buy pottery you as well. Buy pottery. So they need entertainment still. Looks like they haven't made their way up there yet. I guess we could... Well, we don't need a dance school yet. Okay. So, oh, they want reeds. That hurts. A little bit. Um... Mainly because we don't have any. So we'll put in two more. Let's see here. So. Well, you know what happens when we need employment. We're going to... Spin jobs to make jobs. One, two, and oop, fast. Okay, that's everything there. One, two, four. One, two. Okay, that's all good. That's good. We still don't have maximum 
um, production on that. So what we're going to do is we're just going to stockpile. And that did tell this to accept reads, right? I did. Okay. Excellent. Thank you, Bass. So everybody's at four for that, which is 3,600, which means they need... Oh, jeez. City request goods. Okay. Yep, yep. Six months. We're getting there, buddy. How are we doing on bricks? Waiting on more. It's always with the bricks, man. I'll tell you what. We're getting decent money in now. Okay. Four. Beer is going okay. We could do more because we need more. We only have basically one storage yard full. Excellent. You know, we haven't had that buff from Raw, and it probably hurt us a bit. I probably should have been praying to Raw like many, many years ago. All right. So reeds are good. We sent those off. Let's not stockpile those anymore. Okay, so they will gather here. They'll gather up top. They'll gather over here. Probably should have put reed gathering over here and not over here because they lose a little bit walking. You can see how far they got to go. Okay, Rorarty can now have a trade route. Let's see. They will buy gems, copper, and sandstone. But they sell more barley, beer, linen. So they will sell linen because we don't have the ability to make linen, remember. Um, okay. That is a land trade route. Let's see if Abu has been buying... They have been buying virus from us. Good. We see we're capping out. Which means... Probably need more of those guys. So not everybody's working. So we're no longer up here by the reed capital of the world. Alright, let's check on our food. Grain looks good. We're not filled up over here yet. Okay, so I want to do one right here. And we will tell this, whoops, should be at the top. Go ahead and get grain. And then you will get game meat, because we have plenty. And then you will get half on pottery, get half on beer, and then you will get half on linen and get half on papyrus. Okay, they're still not getting enough entertainment over there. I'm not sure why. Everything's good. They're good. Hmm. Well... The only thing that's going to really go there is that and that. And then one, two, three. So I guess it'd probably be better just to maybe go up that way. Let's see. If I do... Because this is only one, two, three. I mean, that'll be plenty. Let's do the dance. I say it'll be plenty, but it's not. So we put that there. The mortuary will go right here. Conservatory can go right there. I'll just have to maybe put another juggler right there. Because I'm not really sure why. Like, they're getting enough, but they're not. They should send out four. Maybe the distance is too much. We'll watch and see. Okay, did that right. There we go. Yep. I guess maybe the distance was too much and they just couldn't get enough out in time. There's the rest of our grain coming in. We have game meat. Everything else is filling up. We're buffering our trading papyrus. That's good. Thank you, Bass, for that buff. Let's get another one, please. 
We could use more brewers. Um, do we have... We don't have any requests, do we? Nope. Okay. So, at this point, I think... Can we import metal? We can. Well, that's not metal. Import. Is it Baki? Yeah, it's a thousand. Land trade route. So we're going to start a... Oh, we need lim uh, limestone as well. So, get all limestone. Get all... Get all... And then... We're going to need a couple carpenters. We'll just do two carpenters. And we're going to need stone masons or limestone. So we'll do that for now. Like so. They're accepting. And they're accepting. You should be getting bricks. Nope. Get. Okay, so now that we have limestone set up, let's import to maintain, say, 96. Each one's 32, 32, 64, 96. And then we're going to look at copper. Where's copper at? Copper, copper, copper. I'm going to go ahead and just import to maintain, let's say, 1,000. We'll go over here. And we will... Tell them to go ahead and accept all copper. Then, once we get that copper in, we will um, start making weapons. What's wrong with you? Really? Desirability when you live? That's why I think this doesn't give a whole lot of desirability. Because they're like, oh, desirability, but it's literally right there, you know? By pottery, game meat, and grain. You as well. Game meat, pottery, and grain. Okay. Looks like grain is building up nicely. We're doing just fine. No now farming. Uh, raw, can I please have another buff, please? Okay, we're starting to buffer reeds a little bit, which means we're at maximum production for currently for our papyrus. We're actually not even, so we'll... Thank you. We'll put three more in. Excellent, there comes our limestone. There's our copper. So I want to actually just... We're just going to go straight to chariots. So I'm going to put my chariot right there. And then... I'll just bring that out. Because we don't really need the military yet. But... I'm going to go ahead... Oh, chariot workshop. We're going to say chariots. And you're just going to go all the way down here on the bottom. And now we need a recruiter. And then, you know what? We're going to do an academy as well. So, recruiter and an academy. Okay. So, that was... So, there's one, two, three. We're going to put three of those in for now. Just keep cracking them out. You know, the wood's right here. The, the copper's right there. Um, we're not in any hurry on those, so we should be fine. That's progressing nicely. Thank you for raw. That's what we needed for money, please. Here comes the food in. You can see we tapped out our grain down here, feeding all those houses. But it filled right back up pretty nicely. Okay, they want beer. I'm not quite ready to give them beer yet. Because we are still selling it. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, yeah, and we do have all this fish down here, you know? So we could just tell them to go ahead and get all fish. And one up here as well. We'll say, actually, you know what? We'll say get half fish and get half jewelry. And you, I'm not worried about. We can just tell you over here to just go ahead and we'll just push all jewelry to there when it's done. Excellent. Our papyrus is coming up nicely. Let's see here. What is this set to get? Jewelry. Okay. That's the papyrus and linen. Okay. So nice. Now we should be tapping out on that. We just need more bricks. Non-stop with the bricks. Tell you what. We need more clay. Okay. Well. Um, go one. Two. Three, four, five. There's five more clay. Well, here's your papyrus. Thank you, come again. Six, seven. There we go. There's seven more clay. Use us some of that unemployment as well. Meat is just sitting there pretty much. We have tons of it. Um... Just taking a look to see if there's anything else I can do. Yep. Go ahead. Let's tell them up here. Go ahead and buy fish. You as well. Buy fish. You know what? I have plenty of room. Just get a full storage out of fish. Ugh. And they should just be accepting fish. Thank you for the 6,400 bricks. That helps a bit. All right, you know what we can do is we can come down here. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. We'll just go down this way. I'll say 17. And just wrap it up like that. We can tell these guys here to go ahead and... Get started on that pyramid over there. At least they'll start leveling it out. Excellent. Lots of limestone coming in. It's all about the bricks, I'll tell you what. Lots of fire. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah, huh. Jeez. Well. You know, you see what had happened was... Yep. Okay, so that was the uh, dance school. Oh, jeez. Hey, the water burned down. And the conservatory. It's one way to kind of reset your population on that one. I'm going to add that back. Like so. Okay, so now with less flame, fifty percent less flames. There we go. Okay, so yeah, now they're actually getting coverage. Yay. Um. We'll do one more dance right there. Uh, you know, I probably should check the gods. <laughs> Thinking about it. So we're at eight. It's 3,000. Oh, yeah. Look at look at that. Okay. All right. So we're going to come over here. What's the chariots doing, by the way? Are they charioting yet? Not yet. I might need to make more of those. We're going to come over here. One, two, three. And we're going to do... 
Uh, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-four, so twenty-five. I think that's right. We'll do architect's post. And we're just going to go Osiris, Taf, Raw. So that's five, which is 4,500. Osiris, Taf, Raw, which is six, which is going to be 5,400. So we probably should do one more. One, two, three. So that's seven, which is going to be 6,300. Yeah. How's that employment going? Not too good. Okay. So what can we do over here? We can add more. Let's see here. Do one right there. Let's see. Connect that road like that. Bring that in. And be raw. And we're going to hold a festival to raw as well. Ooh, did I do the expensive one? Probably. One, two, three, four, five. How do they get entertainment? It's interesting, but all right. Okay, so we're keeping up with the pottery usage. That's good. That's good. We could technically export pottery as well. Are we even buffering pottery? I don't even see it. Okay. I guess not. We'll see. But yeah, I guess we weren't. Huh. All right. Whoops. It's only meant to buffer that. All right, let's do that second loop right there. Thank you. Fast. Best kitty god ever. Let's see here. Entertainment. So, if we did dance school, conservatory, juggler, bam, bam, like so, does that mean they're going to go up and go that way? Thank you, Raw. Okay. Beer. So that's they should all be at the beer stage pretty much. Okay, the something is detrimental effect. We'll just do our single line of gardens like normal. Okay. And those those specifically go there to help bring that one house up. That's next to the bazaars basically. Okay, here comes all the grain. Looks like we're not producing enough grain. So we might need to add just a little more. And do that one right there because it's low-hanging fruit. Which means it's easy to get to. Okay, so all these houses are going to come in. Let's see how much employment... Okay, yeah, never mind. I thought we are going to be, like, super short. One, two, three, four, five... Like so. Delete that. Like so. Okay. Which means we can just extend that. And now I can get rid of this janky bit over here. No need to, but it just makes me feel better. And the same with that janky bit. No janky bits in my city. It's not allowed. Okay, so we are totally buff up on straw and clay. We're just cracking along with the bricks. As many bricks as we could get, please. You know what? I am going to tell you to just empty bricks. 
and all you guys can just automatically bring your bricks over here, please. Okay, we are now running out of fish. Okay, they've finished this down. Good, good. Working on that. That's what we want to see. Everything over here. Clay is good. Pottery. You know what? I think we could actually sell pottery. I don't think we are. Yes, we can. Export one over zero. Just, just get rid of it. We have plenty. We're not using that much. Speaking of that, kitty god. Okay, 21,000. We're gonna plaza all that. Plaza that. And that one as well. Alright. It's the hold up. Just bricks. Bricks, bricks, and more bricks. Okay. Uh, Gnosis? Kenosis? I can never say that. I think I'm pretty sure it's just... And maybe it's Genosis. I don't know. Alright, so they will buy wood. Fantastic. And they will buy papyrus. Even better. So, and it's 2,000 trade route. And they will sell us wine. That is a new gift. Or good. So, we'll go ahead and open that. Let's go over here. And just, yeah, we're just going to sell wood. One over zero. And they can just come take Papyrus whenever they get here. So now we should start making the big bucks. And in this spirit of trading, let's throw a festival for all. Okay, our 16 charioteers there. We're doing good. Excellent. Okay. Abu's now trying to even more sandstone. We can start that, but that comes in pretty quickly. I'm more worried about the uh, pyramids for now. Let's take a look at our gods. We're at 7. That's three 6,300. So Ra has 8. So we'll add another in for Osiris. And Taf. Osiris. Taf. So that's 8. That's going to be 7,200. Okay, we're good for a bit. We have an extra 1,000. Everybody's up to the beer stage. Looking good, looking good. Did they come buy stuff yet? Oh, they did. Nice. Okay, they didn't buy any wood, though. Come on, guys, I need y'all to buy wood. I'm trying to sell you wood. Please come buy it. Okay. Minna fur can now be open. And they will buy bricks. Oh, that's Minna Khufu. There we go. They will buy beer. Even better. Jewelry. Jewelry is not worth exporting. If we're going to import gems, we're just going to use the jewelry. Because it just it's only like 20 more. It's actually better to export meat or game meat than it is to export jewelry, if you can believe that. More beer. I mean, more barley's coming in. So that's excellent. We are exporting beer, I believe. Yep. Uh... It's funny, we can import flax, but we can't turn flax into linen. Which is kind of silly. We could technically import reeds as well. So we can import gems. Let's, we'll import... We'll just say a thousand. It's going to fill up quickly. And you can see here, the import cost is 120, and the export cost is 220, um, 225. So, uh, we uh, because we have the raw buff, basically. That's why it's so good. So we might might want to do that if we can maintain that raw buff. But let's see here. It'd be nice if we could sell chariots. All right. It's our pop good. Okay. We'll tell this to go ahead and accept all gems. And we'll put in just a couple gem jewelry makers. We'll just put four in for now. Because we're not going to need a lot. You know what? We're going to export one over 3,200, and we're going to import to maintain 3,200. Because why not? We're doing good on papyrus. Okay. Bass, it's been a little while. 
We should not be exporting bricks anymore. I don't want to. I want to say. Okay, bricks. No, do not trade. That's probably where a lot of my bricks are going. I'm happy for the money, but uh, yeah. Let's see here. Sandstone. We can import to maintain. Let's say 200. And f Got to pause. I forgot. 240. And I'm not sure I want where I want to set that up for now. So we'll just hold tight. Okay, thank you, Raw. I'm going to go ahead and just do a full layer of eight on those. Do you need to kill some unemployment? Everything's good there. Well, if you ever need to get rid of unemployment, just add more temples. One. Two. Three. Thank you, Blast. Let's go ahead and take a look. Yep. And we're going to just do Osiris, Taff, Raw. One, two, three. There we go. So he'll walk down that way now. Just in case, because I don't I didn't measure that and I probably should. So it's 13. That's a lot. It's 9,000 something. So we should be roughly good. 14. Or, no, I'm counting the wrong things. That's 20. So that's 9,000. So we're good for a bit. I do need some more uh bast in though. Let me add those in. Because once again, those do go towards your culture rating. So let's see here. One, two, three. Going down this way. Just do it like so. We will roadblock right there. That one right there. And it's just going to be fast, fast, and fast. There we go. Okay. More bricks, please. Now that we're not exporting bricks, it should go faster. Our food is looking good. We're staying stocked up on everything. We have grain, meat, and all that. Our lavish festival. Let's go ahead and throw in our other statues right here. We'll do the same um, on this side. One, two, and what? One. If we just do this, then we can just control click. There we go. Oh, I just noticed I didn't have my uh, bird statues. Or the gardens. Good, good. Thank you, Rob. Okay. So let's take a look now. Everybody's basically at the beer stage. We are... Heckin producing on beer. I'm actually going to add another one here. Because I am selling beer to a couple different people. Good. So we will start. You can buy beer. And you can buy beer as well. Oh, excellent. 7,300 uh, bricks. Fantastic. That'll help that along. Okay. Getting lots of food, getting that. Let's take a look down here. I think I want Transport Wharf. So we're going to do that. And that. Kind of janky, but it'll work. The 
So if we can only have six military, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Each transport wharf will hold two companies. So we only need three of those. So if we go one, two, three. And then undo that last one because I'm a dum dum. Just do those. Once again, global labor pool, guys. I know. One, two. There we go. And we'll be good to transfer our illustrious charioteers wherever they can go. So we now have 16 down there. We have nine here and zero. Let's make that 10. We need more wood. Would you look at that? Oh, because we're selling wood now. That's why. There we go. Thank you, Bast. Let's have another beautiful festival to Kitty God. All praise the litter box, I guess. Okay. We're filling back up on fish, so that's pretty good. Let's see here. Thank you. Want a... We'll throw another festival to Raw in a second. And we'll do, go ahead and do beer there as well. Just to do a couple sets of beer. And I can... Do more bricks. And that's what I was worried about. Some employees are needed. Okay, what do you want? A courthouse, I believe it is. So that means we will do a... Actually, a scribal school. We'll throw you down a scribal school. We'll throw you down a scribal school. You get a courthouse. You get a courthouse. We will destroy that police station and... That one as well. Tell you to buy beer. The OG, the original residents get evolved first, and then everybody else kind of comes along. So they should evolve up pretty good. Yep, we already have the Scrabble School. We're going to throw one to Raw next. Excellent. Dentist, which is coming right now. Just waiting for more people. That's going to replace where the police uh, station was. And here comes all of our lovely immigrants. That should, yep, bring us right back up over. Thank you. And then over here as well, we will, since we're doing so good on beer, I'll tell you guys to buy beer as well. And we'll stop there for the beer for them. Plaza that up. We'll garden that one right there. Alright, everything's looking good. We have tons of jewelry. We should probably actually just go ahead. Let's see. Yep, see now it's down to 120 and 150. So it's, it's only a 30 profit. It's barely worth... Um, Importing and maintain. Exporting over 3,200. Okay, so we're staying at 3,200 right now, which is what we should be. Um, we're already throwing a festival to Raw, I want to say. We'll do another one. That's that one and a half uh, buff that you can get from him. Linen. Okay, so that's something we need to import. We will actually say here... Why I take that back. We already have uh, linen set up. So. Let's. Import to maintain. And we're just going to go something silly like 9,000. Because I have it specifically set on how much I can import. Because it's by storage art. Okay, they want game meat. Here's your game meat. That's good from Bass. Thank you. It's just the bricks, I'm telling you. More and more and more. It's always bricks. Look at all this. We are a city of brick makers. All right, thank you. Abu's willing to trade even more papyrus, which means they will buy more papyrus from us, I believe. Let's take a look. Abu. 
Yep. Now they were buying 1,500. Now they're about 2,500. Which is fantastic. Okay. So since we are... Um, since we are uh, pushing all bricks over here, I'm going to just have one set to get. So it'll automatically fill up. There we go. We're getting back on top of wood. Our charioteers are catching up. So that's three. I'm going to add four, five, and six. So we'll have six charioteers going. And if we get requested for military, we are going to smash them. Okay, we are keeping up with the reeds, that's for sure. It's good to see. Good to see. Come on, Raw. Give me a buff, please. There we go. So, okay, now that he gave us that more than before buff. Now, okay, so I guess that's what they're willing to trade or buy more. We need the 1.5 times buff. Okay, we have plenty of unemployment. We're up to 7,000. Oh, we're pushing bricks down here. I did not notice that. Okay, well, that's unexpected. But all right. I could destroy this right here, and they wouldn't. Huh. But, I mean, I'm still using that limestone as well, so... I guess that works. If that's the case, let's put in, uh, thank you. Let's put in brick layers over here. And then carpenters. And then stonemasons. That was interesting. Okay. Unexpected. Yeah, they're taking the bricks down there. I did not notice that. Okay, well. We're working on both of them at the same time. Speaking of working on those, let's go ahead and... Go... One, two, three... Four... Five. So that's... Three, six, nine, twelve... 18, 20, 21, 18, um, 21, 24, okay, so now comes the hard part, except all, except all, except all, I don't want to accidentally do clay, except all, thankfully uh, sandstone's at the top, except all, except all, Okay, so now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, three, six, nine, twelve. Thank you. Fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one. We need one more. I believe. We might have been pushed over, but we're going to go ahead and just do that. All right, sandstone's already coming in. All right, it's December, so let's take a look. Dockla has... Okay, there is that trade more than before. I don't know if you should be able to see that. 3,200 or 2,500. That's excellent. Uh, Abu, same. 3,500. Pottery, same. That's where all of our money's coming from. Uh, we're not selling bricks because screw that. We're starting to sell jewelry. Beer, okay. All right, there we go. We are selling out on all that. I think we only have one storage art of jewelry, so let's... We'll add one right there. We'll add one right there. So we will accept. And then this one here will accept... Oops, I'm sorry. Get. Get up to half. So we'll push it down that way. Because I don't think we've been selling jewelry because we haven't had over the recommended amount. Not really. So, we're going to keep blessings to raw going. Oh no, the inundation will fail. Whatever will I do? I'll just meadow farm. Oh wait, guys, I'm already meadow farming. Let's see here. One, two, 
three. Thank you. Once again, that will irrigate all those, as you can see. Fantastic. We already don't have places for the grain to go. I thought for some... I'm not that is grain. these supplies any further until someone's available yeah. to unload them. All right, well. There we go. Come on, Raw. Give me more buffs, please. See, we want a slow burn to our population cap. We don't want to race there because then our population will get old and we'll start losing a bunch of it, you know? And then you have to build a bunch of things to catch up, etc., etc. Let's hold a festival too fast. And our money is just shooting up. So what do they want? Linen. Okay, we already have linen. What's our workers? 28. Fantastic. So you can see how I will increase my population, and then I will um, use up those jobs, and then I'll go back and increase my population some more, and then use up those jobs instead of just, you know, building a ton and then being, you know, oh, crap. Oh, you want fish, huh? Well, I have 12,800. Here you go, buddy. Knock yourself out. Welcome to Deadliest Catch. I just haven't burnt my fishing industry down yet, this map. Which I'm grateful for. Okay. We got our... So they want to expand into a 3x3. Three three. I don't want them to expand into a 3x3. Three three. Not yet. More sandstone, thank you. So we're going to put our library in right there. We will put our senate house in right there. Does it have to go there? No, but I like it. Our mortuary will go right there. So this loop right here is... Pretty much done. Technically, I could get these all the way up to 4x4. Four four. I need to delete these temples. And then I could evolve these out. So 4x4s, four these obviously will evolve into 3x3s. Three um, but we got a long way to go with these pyramids still. And we can see here that <laughs> both of them are being built. Which is an accident on my part. But it's alright. Well, speaking of that, here's some more bricks. Appreciate it. And we need more clay. That is roadblocked. So we can just go over here. Go one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. And we'll just watch this storage yard. If the storage yard fills up, we'll see that we're filling up on clay because you can see these brick layers here, or brick yards, and these over here as well are just sitting idle, which means we are not getting enough. Thank you. I'll add one right there. And that's the point of having things to buffer as well. Um is that way you can kind of measure you can expand out and go down not always required but it helps and our straw is just doing fantastic we're at zero look at that nailed it but come next year we're not going to have enough so we need to expand are you buying linen you are now and as these go up our taxes will go up as well these are all up to fancy residences thank you best um, which means they're ready to evolve. If I gave them jewelry, they will evolve. I could also, I could probably go all the way to a 4x4. Four four. If I delete these two houses here, put another temple up here for a third god, I can go all the way to a 4x4. Four four. But you can see, I can't lose hundreds of workers. <laughs> Not right now. If I could destroy all these brickworks, I could. All right. Let's see it. Raw, thank you to acknowledge it. Trading partners more than before. That is super strong. Let's check. Let's just look at our military this way. 16, 16, 2, 16. Okay, we have three full and we're working on our fourth. Um, I will add one more of those uh, chariot makers in just because I don't think... Oh, here's your reads, buddy. 
just because I don't know if I'm... Yeah, I'm not producing them fast enough. I need more. Let's do one more. Don't ask me where the horses come from. They just, you know, they appear. It's like don't ask where the bottles come from when you make potions, right? I did not realize we were making... That still trips me out. It's funny, I'm sorry. That I'm like, I'm making both, uh, both um, things by now, you know? All right, we're up to 84 unemployment. It's good. We are not buffering any clay, but we are. Yep, here's your grain as well. Let's see here. We are. It looks like we are at maximum efficiency for our bricks. We will extend this out. And go back to maximum clay efficiency. If that's a thing. Thank you. And just because I'm scared, I'm going to add <laughs> another architect's post right there. All right. Nile is better. Speaking of that. Looks like we're filling up on sandstone. Let's see how much we have. 240. Okay, fantastic. So we have enough. We're at relatively good. We can do one more loop here. We'll probably need one more. So let's actually plan that out right now. So if we do... One, two, three. And then, actually, sorry. So it's one, two, then a garden. Like so. Four, and three. Four, and three. Okay. So if we had that, which means we can honestly just put it anywhere over here that we wanted well i take that back mistakes were made i was wrong so how do i it's kind of weird to do it the backwards way let's see yeah so we would just go like that Okay. And that should work like that. So if we wanted to, just bring this up like so. One, two. And that would be eight. Seventeen. Eight. Seventeen. Line straight down. Because there's no way I can get a double loop in there. Uh, five and three. Just planning these out. Okay, so if we did it that way, where, or where, could I put my mausoleum? Right here looks like a pretty good spot. That, that looks good to me. Fantastic. Okay. So, I'm going to bring that on down over and around. So, this will require an additional 128 blocks of sandstone. So, what I'm going to do now is accept none. Might even be just be easier just to destroy them all, but we don't need the things yet. None, none, none. Hope I didn't mess that up. None. All right, I just want one. There we go. So now we can only import 32 at a time. We'll be good to go. 
So this will slowly just be finished. New trade route to Waset. Let's take a look at Waset. Where are we at? Right here. They will buy... They'll buy clay. They'll sell us more limestone, copper. That's a lot of copper, I guess. Granite. Okay. Well, that's 750. I mean, I act like money matters right now. Um, you know what? I'm going to open it just because... Just because I want it open. I have 130,000. So, uh... Let's plop our Pharaoh Palace over here. We love a good view of the Nile and the clay pits of our houses. Okay, let's see here. I'll go ahead and pause that. So, all right, guys, this is I'm going to wrap up the first part here. Um, we've reached the two hour mark, just shy of two hours, basically. And uh, yeah, so we're doing good. We're at 7,600 population here. We have our pyramid going. We have our mausoleum going and this one going right there. So I'm going to upload this portion and then the second portion will be a part two. That way I'm not trying to upload a three or four hour video, however long this takes me to finish. So, all right, guys, this is Hetepsenuret. Okay, yeah, Hetepsen. If anybody can pronounce that better, let me know because the intro, they skip through it really quick. So once again, thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. I'm going to finish this up and we're going to have a great time moving into Cleopatra once we finish the other Sea People mission.